What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chosen Mont. Hopefully, you're not new to the channel, but if you are, hopefully, you smash that sub. Check out the Patreon link will be in the description because videos get blocked and all that crazy stuff. They will be on the Patreon and videos drop on Patreon before they drop it on here. Come on, I'm trying to get your head started. Now, look, we have Flip Top Looney versus Mark Gris. Let's get in it. Maybe we got a we got a um a battle. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be my first battle reaction. So if it goes the way I plan to go, there'd be some more reactions on the way. Dang, how long how long's the intro? Stage. I'm not used to performing on a stage that high. Okay. Feels good to be here. I mean, it feels really, really stressful. I've got like a few hours until my battle because we've got several battles going on before our battle, which is he, great. He's bad it means that I get as long as possible to work out exactly how my rounds are going to go. Come on, I'm, I'm, um, in, I'm in for I it. I haven't managed to have a clean run through of all three rounds without a mistake. So, without a mistake, at least we've got a few hours to keep trying to do it. Maybe it'll be the one, right? Maybe the one on here will be the maybe, one. Maybe, maybe. Mad important. Purpose eight. Purpose eight. Mad important. Hey, how's it going? How are you feeling? Yeah. Well, um, it's a bit early, huh? But it's a bit early, yeah. but um, I think it'd be cool, man. I've got I've got my stuff worked out. I think I'm starting from a better point than okay. I was against yeah. Protege. What What would be success be for me tonight? To win. Get a few solid reactions from the crowd. <laughs> and if you get Looney to laugh as well, then... What would be success for me, success for me tonight? To win? <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's, that's success. That should be good. So. To win. Okay. Yeah, man, good luck. Sorry, I love you, Star. Sure Cheers, yeah. man. I appreciate sure it. Guys got Give it. me your best. Yeah. It's going to be classic. I'm not going to let you That'll down. That'll be I'm success. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smack it. Man, I can't wait to see this battle, bruh. Oh wait, I thought someone was... Looney's arrived. Uh, to be quite a lot of kind of like commotion outside wait. that people want to take photos. So is this guy Filipino or is his native language English? Hold on. Yeah, I think he's running material out there at the moment. Because he has an accent, he's not hello? American. I don't know, like he's kind of in the middle of something. I'll let him carry on. It's like he watching a lion in the wild. He sounds a little British. Like, a, a, oh, a little good. British. A little, a little, a little. I knew he was from the UK. I knew he was from the UK. So these these people he probably going against, or these people where he at, these must be Filipinos. It got to be Filipinos. His record is 0-1. We're going to have to change that, UK. We're going to have to change that. Shout out to UK if you're in the chat. Shout out to UK. From Mark Chris. <laughs> Philippines represent. Make some noise for Looney. Dang, they put his stats out so fast. I didn't get to see it. All the way from Peter Bra. Some noise All right. Mark Gris. So we got Mark Gris from UK. And we have Looney, hometown, CEBU City, Pasig City, Stick Figures. Okay. He's eight and one. I'll be nervous. <laughs> I'll be nervous because you could be Owen too. He won the coin toss. He picked Mark Gris to go first. Let's hear this shit, man. First round, Mark Gris. Let's get it. So these not Filipinos. Prepping for this match or Latinos. was torture. Eric, I can't thank you more. You took me on a massive tour. This land is gorgeous. He even shared his battle formula. The way you prep is mad important. Pegasus, Air Force One, and Happy Sauna. I was nervous, but they were very nice. They said he goes there every night. <laughs> 
and now this punk is what he gets me. Just some bum. Hey guys, man, it's not a gig. Particular <laughs> cancer society have partnered up. No one needs this, man. No, no one needs this. I don't need this. Who thinks he's destined to be worshipped for his earnings, mate? Your money don't impress me. I'll punch you in a frenzy till I'm rupturing your belly. Pull your guts out, hang intestines from the rafters and the belfry. I'll drink your blood like it was sherry. Crush your nuts into confetti. Then I'll ring your girl and yell, we've saved a bunch upon our wedding. It's... It's gonna okay. get real messy, butter knife v machete. This puppy's blood will spurt, but first, I'd love to get a selfie. Would that be all right? <laughs> Oh, he for real. It's very nice, son. Oh, he for real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See, for a while now, I've been trying to take a bunch of shots to illustrate the lowest ebbs of human nature. Sober things. Yes. Sober things. <laughs> Sober things that make me think I'm lucky. Life's okay, yeah? You know, like a dog that's lost its tail, or a guy who's missed the train, or a bunch of guys I've met who've been sleeping rough for days without one picture of your face? Uh -huh. That is proper fucking failure. I mean, that other stuff is really bad, but that could be my screensaver. I mean, no one would fall in love with this. You look like a deflated puffer fish. What? <laughs> One eye closed, shite closed, hair on your chin that's like a goat's, nostrils so far apart they each have their own time zones. I mean... Okay. 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 He talking about nostrils. I felt that one. I felt the nostril one. He said them joints in different time zones. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is proper fucking failure. I mean... That other stuff is really bad, but that could be my screensaver. I mean, no one would fall in love with this. You look like a deflated puffer fish. One, <laughs> one eye closed, shite closed, hair on your chin that's like a goat's, nostrils so far apart they each have their own time zones. I mean, those are wide. I bet when you picked it, you weren't all that subtle. Did you dig the finger in right up to the knuckle? Did you lift it and spin it? Did you get your whole fist in? Did you hammer in okay. both like some pneumatic pistons? Okay. Whenever you sniff, does the furniture drift in? I heard, no, I heard I feel it sucked up his grandma when she lent in to kiss him. When you're out on a mission, if the wind starts to pick in, does it fill up with dogs and cats and pigeons? I heard at weekends, if he's got a spare hour to fit in, he likes to install the odd art exhibition. It's a wide nose. Plus, that cap and shaved head are quite scary, you know, but I'd shave my hair too if my hair didn't grow. I mean, come on. <laughs> Don't be surprised that cap's there because he needs it. We all know the truth. Your hairline's receding. If he took that thing off, if he took that thing off, you could see it retreating. I guess it's not just Sony Records that wants to up and leave him. And no, don't listen to them. You don't need no cosmetics. You're like a one-man Filipino Venice. Just with so the nostrils Filipino. of an evil ferret and the hairline of Magneto's helmet. Oh, time! <laughs> Time? I felt attacked. Not gonna lie. Make some noise. Okay, Filipino. You have to go crazy. Cause he hit me, he hit you with that nostril, and I felt that nostril. <laughs> felt them different time zones is crazy. This one in World War Three and this one over here in freaking the future. <laughs> God dang. You're a battle rapping teacher. Okay. According to the pamphlets. But no one's looking forward to your matches because they're as boring as your classes. <laughs> he likes to call himself a metaphorical assassin. Bro, you're such an adorable faggot. God. I, I should send this foreigner's body to the corner after using his four-wheeler bag as a portable casket. How was a bar? You're a full-time oh. teacher, right? <laughs> teacher. Fly-by rapper. You can't kick it with me, Grist. I'm a Muay Thai master, the type to body bag you and give you a high five after, especially if you're asking for it. Like the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> now you really think that you can win here with your nice guy swagger? Nice try, Cracker. 
You should have worn that suit and tie designed with a tie-dye pattern and a t-shirt inside that says, White Lives Matter. I hope you fucking die of cancer, you liney bastard. Listen here, you little British prick. Fuck your fish and chips. Over here in the Philippines, we got fish and chips. <laughs> this is why I love the Philippines. <laughs> Over here, we got fish and chips. <laughs> I love this dude. This, why did I get requests like this? These are like the best videos to react to. I respect the UK guy, but this guy going crazy from the Philippines. Shout out to the Philippines in the comments. Put the flag right now in the comments. Now what you know about that motherfucking Dillis Crisps? <laughs> What's the Dillis Crisps? The crowd like, bro, he didn't just say that. <laughs> Yo, oh last God. time I was in London, mm -hmm. I tried ordering my lunch in. Sausages, muffins, porridge with some crumpets. The food was borderline <laughs> disgusting. And for the record, most of your women are either oversized or ugly. And I bet you bloody wankers don't even have the bollocks to colonize this country. That was tough. In it, bruv. In it, bruv. <laughs> he been practicing his, his UK accent or something because he killing it with the UK accent. Now, even if I lose, I consider this shit grist for the mill. Uh -huh. But he just came here for my views. It's literally grist for the mill. So I guess that a million is cool for this British buffoon and his illiterate students sitting in school. But listen up, dude. You know how this battle gets triple the views? Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be a bit of a douche, but get on the ground right now and start kissing my shoes! <laughs> Time! Mugagai! <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, he got uh, too much energy. Yeah, you are more famous. You're a celebrity, dude. You saved Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. And you said London. That's not where I live. I bet you think your girl's G-spot's on her left eyelid. I just battled protege. You should know your fucking place. I'll beat you back to back to back like Joe did Drake. And you know it, mate. You should be protege's protege. And you think that... Oh, shit. And you shoot. think the crowd chanting your name is something I fear, bro? Nah. Jose Vizel was a real fucking hero. And he'd hate the kind of writer you are. The king of rhyme. He said online in the star, I can rhyme with anything. My rhyming's so sharp. Like, I could rhyme whole bottle. And my, when you start, I got whole bottle, I got role model, I got throttle, I got wobble wobble. Okay. Oh, the majesty, the gravity. I'm amazed, I'm in awe. Such rhyming magic. He's like a Filipino Dumbledore. That's... <laughs> That's rhyming at his essence. So insightful, such invention. I mean, I've never heard anyone use I got wobble wobble in a sentence. And yet, and yet you rhymed it with whole bottle. Wobble wobble. <laughs> so awful. <laughs> waffle, waffle. And he's so quick to claim that he's big in the game. A gangster who hangs with the baddest you've met. Yeah, Looney's so cool. In an old interview, claimed his main inspiration is Alanis Morissette. Yeah, Alanis Morissette. How fucking gangster can you get? He, he heard Jagged Little Pill, found it insightful. He loves that CD, keeps it clutched like a Bible. When he heard a UK artist was coming to fight, all he could think was, I hope it's a Spice Girl. <laughs> He doesn't listen much to grime or rap okay. or Eminem. Well, sometimes you can. You did listen all the time to Stan. He loves those bits where Dido sang. And don't you think it's funny that you heard a woman singing about mediocre men who try to keep her quiet and the content of her work spurred you on to be the linchpin of a whole scene where women don't compete, where they stay silent. I mean, that's a little bit ironic, don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, and your material on women bit. is so played out and greasy. On top of that, mate, it's so fucking easy. Like, I'll come round to your crib.
What would you say? I'm not gonna lie. The UK teacher got bars. My business. <laughs> the UK is teacher got bars. He teaching. Tonight, your girl she wants my dick inside her. Afterwards, I'll go home write a shit review on TripAdvisor. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize, but that is 90% of what you write. Don't Filipino time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, it was, yeah. all, it was all right. It was all right. Yeah. It's all right. It was I don't right. care who you are and what you do. And I didn't understand a single thing you said to me, man, but fuck you too. <laughs> you see, researching for this British cunt wasn't really fun. I typed in the best of Mark Grist, and guess what, bruv? There isn't one. Yo, I tried Googling this bitch, mm -hmm. and I felt like I was clicking for ages. Okay. And then finally, Mark Grist, after 17 pages. <laughs> another desperate, aging, irrelevant, nameless beggar with elephantiasis. <laughs> And judging by the melanin and the freckles on his face, you can uh -huh. definitely tell that he's racist. <laughs> I bet you like to touch kids on a regular basis. <laughs> you should be investigated by federal agents for having sexual relations with seventh grade Asians. You're Ain't a fucking no immature asshole who likes fucking immature assholes. <laughs> Pedophile. He may look like a decent guy, but deep inside, he's oh, got an man. evil side. The one with a Smeagol smile. <laughs> That's right, pedophile. Now, I want you to be advised that nobody in here cares to understand those European rhymes. And if somebody ever claps or reacts, I won't be surprised because nine out of ten is probably just my Filipino peoples being nice. Because your skin is white. You have a face that says, I'm insecure about my penis size. <laughs> I hope the last remaining members of the Beatles die just so I could see you cry. This fucking white geek is in trouble. When I beast your live feed in the jungle where I eat. If you wanted more views, you should have doubled my fee. But you'll never reach the likes of someone like me, faggot. <laughs> the faggot killed me. The faggot killed me. <laughs> faggot. Go on! Um, okay, before I start, seriously, Eric, thanks a lot, man. You really hooked me up. Now, Eric here gets a ton of love. Comes to you, though, not so much. A lot of the battlers hate him. They always say the same things. He's greedy, hates this scene, and he won't do shit if you don't pay him. If you ain't got cash, you're blown off. He's all about his own costs. At first, I figured, well, so what? Like, he clearly needs a nose job but they took me to one side and more reports start coming again. through you're slipping on your tightrope no safety net you're falling through you want rescuing these guys won't because each of them is bored of you cheating for those high notes like your britney spears's auto tune you backstabbing cash grabbing sack of crap or gas and branding anyone wanted actual help he wouldn't do a damn thing he cheats and lies he really likes to see how fucked you are the king of rhyme nah lion king and it's clear you're Uncle Scar. And the first that was tough. first time it that all went tough. his way, he packed tough. up his bags and toured around the States. And so, yeah, it turns out your tour wasn't great. I mean, how many was it? Like, four people came. I mean, uh, no lying, no porkies today. That's why they ain't asked you to tour it again. They paid for your comforts, and look how you thanked them. The money he makes, he invests in abandoning all of you guys for gold wigs and handguns. He keeps facing West like a compass that's stamped on. It's all Western artists, he says, that inspired him. It's all Western references inside your writing. You don't like this country, this people? That's fine, but that is the truth, boy. Why try and deny it? Round here, while well, they struggle for food on the street, he's at Trump Tower, reduced to his knees. I'm not gonna lie, the bars that he's freaking hitting them with right now, I know he feel these bars. But as a battle rapper, you can't feel pain like that. You can't, you can't let him get in your head. He's trying to get in your head. He's getting in your head. Don't let him get in your head. Them bars is crazy right now. And he's, he's like attacking him at this point. I'm talking about he's, he's trying to eat this man alive. That freaking verse when he said there's people in the street while you over here freaking in the castle living your best life. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to get in your head. Puzzling, suckling, refusing to eat till Donald Trump's pubes are removed from his teeth. 
dying. Ain't got no balls, ain't got no courage. He saw all the suffering, just figured, fuck it. One sniff from the West, just watch him go running. I won't be surprised if you hide in my luggage. I'm finished. I'm finished with this kid okay. who sees my passport as a thing of dreams. He'd pack up all his things and leave, ignoring what's here in the scene. I mean, loony, mate, you're killing me. It's a symphony, such history. The love and warmth is in these streets. I mean it, mate. I don't want to leave. I fucking love the Philippines. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. This gig's been dope. I don't want to go, but it's time to bring this thing to close. If you're smart, you'll know how the multi goes. Putang in a mole. <laughs> Okay. Don't go out like that. Yo. Philippine, don't go out like that, bro. That pathetic piece of performance art didn't move me at all like the royal god. <laughs> I killed him in 90 seconds like a poisonous dart. I ain't got no problem stalking a mark. He's like a prostitute in Luneta. Just another walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awkward, eh? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I guess standing in front of you makes me want to talk this way. <laughs> <laughs> don't flop all day. Oh that man. little leaves whack. That's why I sit here in the Philippines trying to make his mark on the Philippine map with his Mr. Bean swag. <laughs> I'm the president. The Punisher's bringing the guillotine back. You're about to fade away like that skinny jean fad. This mm. mismatch is a mishap. I'm predicting this will be bad. Kinda like Duterte's middle finger against the British Queen's twat. <laughs> now it's pretty whoa, 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 obvious whoa, 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 that I'm about to body this faggot ass battle rap hobbyist with action Bronson tits. God damn. You're way past your prime, but still you're an optimist. Stop it, Grist. You're older than a floppy disk. <laughs> You, you got beat by definition and a fucking retard. That makes you the perfect definition of a fucking retard. <laughs> now I know that nobody in here gets it and I respect it, but accepting this battle was a big mistake and he regrets it like Brexit. Mm. Now check it, I'm a legend. They refer to me as Alamat. I'm about to crush this ginger and turn him into Salabat. <laughs> But for my final bars, I have a different battle plan. <laughs> I will use my Jollibee call center accent so everyone can understand. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm here to leave a lasting impression on Mark like a cattle brand. Break his heart like a thunder fan because I'm teacher's enemy, number one. Tagalog or English, I'm flexible like a rubber band. You want to Mortal Kombat with me, Mr. Russell Brand? I'm like Goro with the four arms. I got the upper hand. <laughs> Now this is something that you cannot extinguish. It's gruesome when I depict this, and you cannot distinguish. Do you know what else rhymes with distinguish? What? Extinguish, relinquish, tsaka po kinang inan yung mga British na ubusan ako ng English! <laughs> Do it with me. Put it in the comments. Oh my God. Tagalogin ko na lang? Tagalogin ko na lang. <laughs> Tatagalogin ko na lang para sa kapakanan ng mga tulad ni Badang. Whatever issue your iPhone may have, Tenorshare sure Reibu can fix them all. We could fix more than one. I'm not gonna lie. This man, Looney. <laughs> he hit him with a UK accent, English accent, Filipino accent, and then he switched languages on him. Godly, Looney, you're killing this man. You're killing this man. You're killing him. Let's chill out, bro. Chill out. God. <laughs> He's killing this man. Ikaw, ikaw, boy tisoy. I-google mo na lang. Mas masarap pag Tagalog kasi mas paangas pag rekta. Manakawang ka sana ng mga bag at maleta sa may araneta at masagasa ka sana sa kalsada sa EDSA. <laughs> You don't know Ito what he said. Pinadala nilang panlaban sa gera. Wala namang kwenta. Isa ka lamang napakalaking sagabal, punyeta. Huwag ka nang umasa pa repa. Tapos na ang karera. Di ka na makakabuelta. Hindi mo alam. Umuwi ka na lang. Salamat sa pera. He's frying him in his own language. And the guy from UK like... You killed me. Don't know what you said, but you probably killed me. Damn. 
might be nine and one. That that might be nine and one. All right, look. I held my own in there. Like I gave him some problems, and I you, worked the crowd. I did you, get the crowd. You did do good. Inside. You did good. I'm not lying. Right. You did pretty that was good. All right. I'll take it. I came out here to learn about what what battling's all about here, and see if I could be accepted. You know, from being out of town doing my thing against the top of the roster. I'm stoked, man. Mark did really well, bro. I, he did pretty more good. More than I expected. It was really a big adjustment, and that's props to him. The Alanis set line, was, that was very good. Bro. Well, that everything you, you, you said and you, you talked me through, I honestly, I would have really struggled. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, it's not like I fucking wrote your bars for you, so <laughs> like, I'd like to give myself more credit for for giving him the advice about the pacing because I feel like he really nailed it. I'm glad that the happy and zone and stuff worked. Man, <laughs> I don't know. That, that wasn't funny. You know? <laughs> I thought he he meant it for Looney, right? And then you know, I was like, oh, okay, okay, you're actually, you're that was meant for me. All right, I get it. Like that motherfucker. It was fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Like, um, fucking cheers, man. Cheers, man. My experience here in the Philippines has been the most difficult thing I've ever done, but it's also been really exhilarating. Pistoleros, little pistol. <laughs> There's been a bunch of challenges. Number one is just my own fear of failure. I have a pub. I'm not gonna lie, I would like to vlog in the Philippines. I even have some fun out there. We, I think of uh, so much stuff to do if I ever came out to the Philippines. I think of so many like video, YouTube videos to make with a whole bunch of people out there. A whole bunch of people, even the people that's on the road. I think of, I think of ways to make videos out there to have some fun with some Filipinos. But look, Mark, he he held his he held his ground. He did not do bad on he did not do bad going against Looney. That was a pretty good battle. It's just Looney killed him. Looney got in his bag and Looney went crazy. But Mark was attacking the beast. He was poking the bear. I thought Mark was gonna. I mean Looney. Looney Looney went crazy. Looney went crazy. I think Mark poked the bear near the end of the round, and Looney was like, "Okay, I'm done." Hit him with a UK accent. Hit him with his accent, an English accent, changed languages on him, bodied him, bodied him. But I like the sportsmanship. By sportsmanship, they dapped each other up at the end of the round, smiles and giggles, talked out at the end. And it was it was over like that. They learned from each other. They had fun. That was a battle. That was entertainment. That was freaking a show to put on for the crowd. I'm going to need more. I might need more. Y'all let me know if I should dive into some more battle raps. I did not even know he was Filipino. Did not know that. And I didn't know he was UK. I heard his accent. And I'm like, bro, I heard his accent. You know how UK accents sound. Looney with that UK accent. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. But if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you smash that sub, like the video, hit the notification bell. Let me know what I should react to next in the comments.